What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Shadowverse. So last time on the live streams here, I've played the Hatsune Miku event for the first time, and I do plan to resume it here and possibly finish it off with the chain battles. Um, if we go here to the quest once again, um, yeah, they have a new um, yeah, mode here, which is called Virtual Singers, which are chain battles. <laughs> And uh, yeah, pretty much it's like a, I guess it's like a roguelike is what I heard. Um, I think it's similar to like uh, the, what is it called? Like back in, in um, Legends of Runeterra, there's a mode where you can um, go through multiple battles. You carry like your health and get new power-ups after each battle. But yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be like that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And also, yeah, if you do notice... <laughs> Um, I do have some music in the background. I did decide to disable the music in Shadowverse here because, you know, when the Hatsune Miku, um, like, music played, um, yeah, it, it just got claimed by YouTube and I want to avoid that, so instead, we'll just be jamming out to our own personal, like, YouTube-friendly music. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's get this started, and yeah, after I do the chain battles, once I finish those, I will be opening up at least 40 packs that I've been saving up for the um, the past like a uh, few weeks here. Um, but yeah, I did make some decks um, specifically for this. So I did make the um, two decks over here, Try Hard Heal Haven, which I did use this to beat um, uh, Luca. Finally, <laughs> I know I've been uh, yeah failing like battling against her in the previous stream but yeah I was able to beat her on my own time um, through this deck but I will not be using this deck over here um, I do want to see if I can maybe play um, with uh, Len here because yeah I do want to try to play um, I just feel like playing sword <laughs> and yeah if that doesn't work I will go with the um, the heal haven but for now I want to try um, Evo sword and yeah here's my deck um, not sure if this is good or not. I just, um, you know, try my best to quickly make one, <laughs> um, like its own custom deck. But yeah, uh, let's go and try out this, uh, yeah, this chain battles, man. This will be my first time trying it out. Ooh, uh, choose a boon to receive. During your turn, whenever an allied commander follower, uh, comes into play, give it the ability to evolve for zero evolution points. That sounds really good. Um, during your turn, whenever the ally commander or follower comes into play, deal X damage to a random enemy follower. If there are no enemy followers in play, deal X damage to the enemy leader. Instead, X equals the attack of the commander follower. Dang, do I? How much? <laughs> I don't know if I... Did I build my deck based around commanders? I mean, yeah, we got some commanders here. I mean, that might work out. Yeah, I think I do have a lot of commanders at least. But yeah, we'll see just how well that that will work. Ooh. And yeah, this might be interesting. Because I do have, you know, a good amount of commanders. Uh, during your turn, whenever an enemy follower is destroyed, give 1-1 one, one to a random allied follower. I mean, that might be good. I don't know, I feel like this. I know this is going to be very useful. But... I am feeling for support cannon, <laughs> but yeah, just evolving for zero is going to be so useful. The thing is, I have like stuff like Olivia here <laughs> to like recover my evolution points, so yeah, I don't know just how useful it will be. Let's go with support cannon. I know, I feel like I might be uh, making a mistake here, but yeah, I think support cannon might be the way to go for me. Alright, so first battles against Hatsune Miku, opponent details. Oh, they also got special effects too. During your turn, whenever an allied follower that originally costs one play points or less comes into play, give it a rush and strike. Oh jeez. Oh no. <laughs> Whoopsies. Dang. Deal damage to my leader. Man. But they have 10 defense. Okay. Alright, here we go. Hopefully the music does not play here. And if it does, then my music will overplay it. 
All right. Um, I actually have not tried out this card yet. Uh, five damage to enemy follower. It does sound good. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, Kagemitsu, nice. My place is on the front line. All right. Yeah, it does feel weird just playing. <laughs> my own background music. I used to do it like way back in the day. To battle, comrades. Let's get this party started. Yeah, I used to do it like way back in the day. Uh, let me see how stream is doing here. Okay, so it looks like performance is still okay. I'm just wondering if the, maybe the music might be making things worse, but to battle, so far things are okay. And yeah, if we need to heal, I got Sarah here. Okay. I feel like I want to just attack. Then yeah, maybe I can just play this. Yeah, maybe we can uh, do this next turn if you want to. Just play that and then Hero of the Hunt. That will automatically evolve this follower. That would be nice. I've waited for this moment. Off to my next checkup. Um, I know I can play this. But, like, they're gonna be able to evolve, evolve next turn. I feel like it's gonna be useless. I'll eat their troops for breakfast. Oh boy, that's gonna get a lot of attack. My armor has been pierced. Yes, it has been. Ooh, I mean, yeah, I can play that. Deal five damage to the face, or not the face, the uh, to this guy. Um. All right, yeah, we got that effect too, right? Forgot all about this effect. <laughs> Has this been taking effect? I never... It's whenever they come into play. So yeah, if I play this... Ooh. Would also like to get this out. So I wonder if the Fanfare is going to activate first and then the Boon. Because then I can deal 4 damage to the face. Or at least uh, to this guy. Um. Oh wait, but then if I play this... Then I play this. I feel like I won't make the most out of it. Because, yeah, it'll deal 3 damage to this guy. That's where it's draw a card. Ooh. I feel like I just want to play this and evolve it. That is something that I can do, maybe. Uh, maybe we should play it safe. I don't know. Let's go play. The dawn shines like a beacon of hope. Yeah. I think I'd rather play it safe for now. Dawn always play the dawns of dawns of dawns of dawns. Or like you know, just to make the most out of my cards. <laughs> Cause yeah, five damage is a lot. If I play opulence here, it will just reduce down this guy's health to uh, one. And I just feel like I won't be doing the most out of it if I do it that way. But yeah, end my turn. And yeah, hopefully they don't have ward. Oh boy. But yeah, they'll be able to deal some damage to my face. Alright, good. Oh. Of blood shall soon fly. Yep, he's back. Um. Oh, look, we're at, we're at Rally 10. Oh, nice. Um. Let's see, what can we do? And he has to track 3 from its costs at Rally 10. Oh, wow, recover 1 evolution points. Yeah, I haven't really been playing this card, too. <laughs> Um, 
all enemy followers or dual blade fury or uh, flurry uh yeah you know what yeah why not go ahead and play this we can give it to one of our guys as well and they can attack two times and if I evolve them they can do some more damage um just making sure this should be costing two should be costing two there we go um oh shoot did I mess up hold on let me evolve one of these guys I think we're still fine oh yeah we won all right there we go and then yeah we recover five health I believe after each battle but in there we just we just recovered two nice oh wow it feels so weird having not having that music play the the victory music Ooh, at the start of our first turn summon guilt um oh this is mainly for the last words i guess uh during your turn whenever an allied officer follower comes into play restore one health that also sounds very useful it does sound useful um at the start of your first turn transform the reaper at the bottom of your deck into a victory card and put a random officer follower from your deck into your hand that is if I feel like I'll be drawing a lot. Ooh, I don't know about any of these. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they're not as useful as before. I mean, this one is just nice to recover some health. Um, But I also like to draw cards. I mean, I, I feel like I want to take Spartacus because, yeah, if I do run out of cards, at least I have the victory card. And also, um, you know, we also get a random officer follower from your, from our deck, um, put into our hand. I feel like that's just better draw-wise. All right, Spartacus, you better not make me regret choosing you. All right, let's go. Going second. Uh, you go back to the deck. No oh, geez. Well, hopefully, um, I can draw a card. That'll be good for the first turn here. But yeah, I feel like I want to keep you for the turn I evolve. But yeah, that's good. Good card here to start off with. Get to draw more. And yeah, hopefully the music here is fitting. Oh, here we go. That looks cool. Oh jeez, I just drew a lot. Oh my gosh. I'll be a royal knight someday. Okay. Oh, she has 15 health now. I won't give up. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, two of them. Wait, what is her effect? I just I didn't even realize her her effect right now. Um, whenever the allied amulet's last words activate, repeat those effects. Oh, that's why she has two. I was kind of confused at first. I feel like I want to play Luminous Lancer just to attack one of these guys because yeah, that's already making things feel bad here. Oh, that's a perfect combo. I forgot about my own boon. It's time to break free. Oh, he's got the strike. Today. Hopefully Kagemitsu here can be okay. And yeah, next turn is Sarah, for sure. So I can recover my health. Oh yeah, that effect, man. Oh jeez, no, that's a banish. That was a banish, dude. I need to recover some health here. The dawn shines like a beacon of all. Oh, 
I wonder if I should save this here. Because it is a commander. And they also evolve too. Like we get to summon another commander. We, that means we can do another 3 damage because of my boon. Yeah, I think that'll be nice to save this. And you know, I feel like we have enough cards here. So like maybe defend us. Oh, the banish. Oh, at least it was a random guy. Oh, jeez. Dang, that was a lot of things going on there. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh yeah, maybe we can play some quick bladers and then evolve them if you want. Because yeah, we can always use her to get her evolution points back. Um, yeah. Or should I play this? Just to maybe start building it up if I need it later on. Like for emergency purposes. <laughs> I feel like I want to do that. But that's, it's also like a free 3 damage though. Yeah, I think way too much. Um, Alright, let's do it. That's just for emergencies for later on. You're still way too slow. You're still way too slow. Lightning as you're too late. You're too late. You're too late. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Wait, that was good. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, wait. I think we just won here. Um, you can't run. Wait, let me just play this first. Okay, that does finish it off. I just want to see. Oh, snap. So yeah, it's Fanfare plays first. And then... The boon activates. That is so powerful. Yeah. We just dealt 10 damage right there. <laughs> that is so powerful. Wow. I am kind of scared of facing... Uh, I'm gonna guess Luca's the final boss or something. <laughs> I am kind of scared of facing her because of last time. Um, but yeah, at the end of the turn, give 1-1 one, one to a random allied follower. Um, oh, or officer follower. Once per match, at the end of your turn, at, if at least one of your evolution points have been used this match, recover one. Or at the start of your first turn, summon Gelt. Ooh. You know, now that I do have that victory card, I don't think it's a bad idea to maybe start drawing some cards, you know, having guilt here. Can also maybe help as a rally if, if it counts. But yeah, the evolution point stuff. And also I don't have a lot of officer followers, it's pretty much half and half. Maybe more commanders. Um, yeah, I think guilt. Alright, match number three. What is Len's special ability here? At the start of your first turn, give the officer traits to all followers in your hand and deck. <laughs> At the end of your first turn, summon Magnolia Battlefield Muse. Oh my gosh. Oh no. At the seventh turn, Soldier's Val? Oh my gosh. Well, well let's let's see if we can win this. But yeah, if I fail this, I'm gonna try using the other deck, the Heal Haven. Because that can be both offensive and offensive. But at the same time, it does rely on some specific cards to play. Dang. Um, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I want to redraw, but these two cards just feel safe, you know? And this one especially can deal 5 damage for each one. Um, okay. I'm gonna risk it. And yeah, we can draw cards with our boons. Yeah. So, yeah, we can draw a lot of cards. Oh, yes. Right, Good. Troops, get ready for war. I'll be a royal knight. 
All right, this is not a bad hand for now. We don't have we don't have anything in turn two. Oh, I mean that's that's gonna be kind of crazy. But I wish I had something to play here. Um. Steady, swing. I don't know if I should attack you or deal damage to the face. Um, like, I don't know how bad it's going to be f to have Magnolia on the field. I should try to take her out first. Um, maybe you'll be fine just playing one Warden of Honor. Okay. Yeah, just to be safe, maybe. I'm going to go for the face. We'll see how that works. Oh. I won't give up. Be healed, my heroes. Maybe it's best to play him and then his Hero of the Hunt later on. But yeah, I think that'll be for next turn. Oh jeez. Well that's bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's now the time to uh, play him. Let's get this party started. Now's my time to shine. All right, just to be safe, get rid of her. And then, yeah, we have to wait for the seventh turn. Dang it, Mars. Mars is scary. The battle's finally I will lead the charge. Are you kidding me? Okay. But yeah, it's not too bad though. Sparks of blood shall soon fly. Kagemitsu is back. Um The dawn shines like a beacon of hope. Oh nice, okay, good. <laughs> I thought for a second there I might have to sacrifice uh Nice heal. Yep, I thought I might have to sacrifice Sarah here, because yeah, that was random for that. Um, but yeah, I can't play any other cards now, so I'll just end my turn. My crew stands with oh, the Sky Captain. Dang, so his deck here is mainly about... Hold up your swords with pride. Okay. Um, but yeah, we can just play him, deal damage to him, and then to the face. If you want to do that. Um. This one, the effect only works if it's at least five followers have evolved. Um. But yeah, if you want to save on Evo, or maybe evolve one of these guys as well. Um. Yeah, let's try it out. Stand down. Oh, what? It doesn't attack the face? Oh, did it just do both? Like, it it just activated at the same time and it just, and just attacked him? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I've waited for this moment. I think that's what happened. Okay. Just a little bit surprised there. Aha! Uh -huh. That was a good follower to attack. Is that the best you can do? Alright, good. Oh, we can do it again here. Um this one we can recover three. I want to see if I can try to destroy these guys as much as possible. Oh wait, no, we can just win by playing you. <laughs> wait. You're still way too slow. You're too late. Well, let me not not attack with him. 
Okay. And yep, we still have full health. Okay, let's just see how bad Luca is here for the next round. <laughs> so far, so good. If she has those crazy effects, I, I might just try to beat her in my own time. I don't think I can do it for the stream. <laughs> oh wow, look at these effects here. Once per match at the start of her turn, Rally 7, summon an Aurelia Glorious Saber and evolve it. At the end of her turn, Rally 10, give that much. Um, at the start of her turn, put a Cinderella in your hand and change the cost to 1. Uh, whenever a Cinderella is returned to your hand, change the cost to 1. Is that going to clog my hand though? I feel like this might clog my hand because if it's just if it's just gonna keep on giving me Cinderellas at the start of my first turn. Oh wait, no, first turn. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it said start of your turn. It's just your first turn. Um. I mean, this might help with the rally. I just, but like, I don't know if I care enough for that. This might help with like um, some other cards that I have because yeah, this is a commander. I don't know, I think I like these two. I feel like this might be the safest option here, Aurelia. I also have an Aurelia on my deck. Dang, defense 25. Oh boy, what is this crazy stuff going on? Um, during your turn, reduce damage to your leader to zero. Whenever your opponent plays a card, restore one defense to your leader. And if you have five um, cards or less in your hand, draw a card. That is annoying. Wait, <laughs> whenever your opponent plays a card, restore one defense to your leader. At the start of your turn, if Wrath is active for you, put a random two or three play point follower from your deck into play and evolve it. Dang, that's so annoying. <laughs> I wonder if my heal haven can do it. But yeah, I don't know if I can win this. We'll see if the Heal Haven can can work out for me. All right, let's do it. Ooh. Um, don't want you. I feel like I want to draw cards, so Bumpkin will stay on the field. Oh, we also got Zeus. Yeah, that's annoying. Dang, three defense restored like that. Okay, I'll just play both homebound. My place is on the front line. My place is on the front line. Then we'll attack. Oh. It dealt no damage back. Well, yeah, I guess we'll try to have try to be fast as possible here. You're still way too slow. Steady to battle, to battle, come You're too late. Dang, already a lot of damage. Ooh, two more. Let's wreck stuff until the moon goes down. Wait, you outran me? Dang, she takes zero damage. Um, yo, dude, welcome, dude. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, right now, I'm just resuming this event here. Um, I feel like I want to save this for later on. Yeah, maybe we, we can just play this. But yeah, I'm in the final battle now. But we'll see if I can make this work out. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for stopping by, man. Oh boy. Run like the wind, my you just oh snap. Oh my gosh. No problem. Bloom fiercely, bloom proudly. 
We will get Aurelia here. I can also play another one of her here. <laughs> but I don't know if I should try to heal first. Or maybe I should just play her. Um... I mean... Yeah, why not? What splendid finery! Fall back! Oh, nice. Okay. So. He will be gone. Be be gone. No, if I do that, that'll be better. Cool. Oh, what do I do here? Dang, one more rally, and I can maybe recover an evolution point. I guess I'll play you. That's cool how it kind of negates though. Um, maybe I can evolve one of you. Because yeah, if I play him, I can re recover an evolution point. And yeah, I want to evolve as much as I can because maybe we can do something crazy with Zeus over here. Where, her, where he has like this list of effects that act activates at random based on how many times we evolve. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, good. We're in such a good position here. Unless they do something extremely crazy, I don't see them recovering from this. Oh my gosh, wait. Did we just possibly win? So let me see. This can attack... Two times, deal eight damage to the face. Twelve, if I evolve one, then I think I just won here. Oh snap. Wait, is this true? I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it if I did my math right. <laughs> Cause this should do twelve on the on its own. Like on evolve, you'll do thirteen, but then if I evolve I do sixteen. I hope I'm doing my math right. Um let me also just make sure. They don't do anything crazy. Okay, I'm gonna trust it. You read Anime Boston over a week ago, and Bushi Road was doing this event. Uh, my sister uh, told me about, and when I got there, they were doing a Shadowverse demo. You took your chance and got a promo card of a fighter and two other cards that I forgot. Dang, are you talking about the Shadowverse Evolve, like? Or like the digital, is it like a digital, like in this game here? Because I know they're, Evil be gone. they're coming out with, uh, no me. You can't run. what is it called? Yeah, Shadowverse Evolve soon. In like, I think a month and a half. Like it'll be in June, I think. Yeah, it's Evolve. Dang! Oh my gosh. That is so cool. That is very cool. But yeah, we just won this. This is my first time beating this. Um, but yeah, nice. Chose the correct boons. Let me go back to the quest. Finally, you beat her. Yes, I did. Um, I did uh, beat her on my own time though, like this version. This one is actually a lot harder than <laughs> the one in the, uh, the chain battles over here. But yeah, uh, this one though is actually a lot harder. Like I had to use a different deck. Um, but yeah, um, I think that was it for the, the stream over here. <laughs> but um, actually, one more thing though, um, which will take me a while. I do want to um, yeah, open up 40 card packs. I got 3,000 uh, rupees here that will give me 30 packs. And then I got 10 over here with the tickets. Um, but yeah, I can't use tickets on here. So instead, we'll just open up in here. But yeah, it's going to be 40 card packs that I'll be opening up. Alright, here we go. Hopefully I can get some leaders. Oh yeah, with the tickets over here, I, I don't think it's going to include Hatsune Miku. If anything, I'm hoping for the other leader cards over here. Wow, not even one legendary. <laughs> I'm sad. Alright, let's go spend 30 on 
Hatsune Miku here. Maybe I can get a second and third copy. Oh my gosh, Lilium. Alright, second pack of 10 cards. We just got Lilium. No Hatsune Miku, but that's okay. I already got the Hatsune Miku card. Okay. Dang, 20 packs in. I mean, I was hoping to get at least one legendary for each pack. Like each uh, 10 packs, I mean. Play again. Oh my gosh, Anne. I do like her. I do like this art, because like, she's got this like, summon or familiar in the background, which looks really cool. Oh wait, that was all the packs? <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I just... I just went through that, through that like a breeze. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Yeah, it was not as special as like the previous stream where I got Hatsune Miku. Man, I was hoping for at least one of the leader cards here. Either Mars or Maisha. But dang. Yeah, did not get any of those. But yeah, that was it for this stream. Um, yeah, not a lot of good cards I've opened up. I was hoping for more legendaries, but, but yeah, that was just me just um, wishing for it. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was the whole... Um, a Vocaloid Virtual Singer Chain Battle event. I do like this, you know? Once again, it reminds me of like the Legends of Runeterra um, game mode where pretty much you go in, you know, battle after battle, consecutive battles, and you get like power-ups after each one. You also carry over your health. But yeah, I like this. I hope they make a permanent game mode of this because I remember playing a lot of this mode like back in Legends of Runeterra when I used to play it a lot. But yeah, hopefully they can do something like that because I I like this a lot more than having permanent puzzles, you know? Um, yeah, hopefully they can bring back Chain Battles in a permanent way because, man, I'll be playing this game a lot. I feel like a lot more. Uh, thank you for watching and yeah, that'll be it for now. That's game.